In my career, we've had uh, five officers killed in the line of duty, and then we've had uh, a couple others that were killed in non-duty related functions. And so that just adds to your stress level. And if then you have problems at home or interpersonal or whatever, then that just ratchets the stress up even more. It, it would be one less thing to have to worry about. Plus, if something unfortunate did happen, at least your family would be protected enough to where they could, could move on. If you don't have your finances in order, then, then you can't give full attention to what you're doing day to day on the job. And if you can't do that, then you just increase your likelihood that something's going to happen. I think everybody needs to have it. I'd like to see something like this, matter of fact, in the, uh, as a part of the academy. Hit some of the young guys when they first come out of the gate. Instead of waiting until they've had as much time on as I've had in order to do it. But if they get started with it, then they don't have, especially if they're just starting to plan families and weddings and all this, then they already have their feet on the ground. They don't have as much stress as, as what many of us have had and still have in some cases. Right, the job's very stressful and the schedule is always varying. Um, he can, you know, be working nights for a couple of months and then evenings and then um, midnight shift and things like that. And so there's always the unknown and always the, um, I guess, stresses of day to day as well as what it brings to our family. And so having um, some control over, you know, our financial stability and some um, control over where our money goes kind of helps us have at least some, um, some, some stability and some comfort with something that we're able to to kind of have a hand in um, where we don't have very much control over other things pertaining to his job and sometimes mine this is something that kind of we can have some comfort in I think that um, women definitely for me and for a lot of my friends women definitely like to have that that padding and that cushion um, and we like to know that things are done and taken care of and out of the way and not, they don't have to be a worry. They don't have to be something that's on your mind. I think women think about everything um, and everything is a process in our brains and everything we, we think out very logically and for long periods of time. And so it's so nice for women to have something that's not even, not even a concern anymore, not even a worry. I absolutely would recommend it. There's so many officers that have a need for um, either the, the debt, taking care of debt, or just having a plan for their, their money and for their families and stuff like that. And with us, there's you know almost unlimited amount of overtime for people, so they think they can always just work another job to get more money if they need it at the end of the month. But if you have a plan, you may not need to do that. You can spend more time with your family. I would say 75, 80, 90 percent of them work overtime and they work overtime to get extra money and they do that so that they can pay off, you know, bills and things that their families are um, wanting and needing. But sometimes it's not like Chad said, it's not planned and it's not on paper and it's not um, designed to really take care of their family. It's kind of just taking care of things on the back end. Um, so I really feel like I, I wish police officers and their families could spend more time together. One of the leading causes of divorce is financial reasons. Divorce in police work is high. You put the two problems together and all of a sudden it's sky high. If we could get every officer here, I think that'd be great. I think it'd lower divorce rate and make for happier families and just a overall less stressful life. With the chaplains program, part of what we're trying to do is take care of the individual. Uh, by taking care of the individual, we also help the department in that when they do get to work, uh, they're more engaged and less likely to make mistakes by having their mind somewhere else. Part of the chaplaincy program to me is actually shepherding those individuals. And part of the problems we've had in the past, where we'll chew on a guy for his finances. 
will, you know, will give him a hard time about his marriage relationship. His children may get out of line, all those kinds of things. And we as a department don't do anything until it gets out of control. Uh, to me, we need to do for some preventive maintenance. I think men have a tendency to do bravado. Uh, they don't think about it. We're just going to take care of it. Those kinds of thoughts where they just let it slide off their back, where the women have a tendency to be a lot more of the worry type. And I believe a seminar like this where they can get together and they sit together and the communication that goes on not only helps the marriage relationship, but their finances can get better at the same time. And I've always used these theories that are in the seminar, and I've done it for years. Uh, I've been married for 32 years, so in those years we've always used it. Um, recently my wife got into a situation where she was very uncomfortable at work because of some of the practices that were being done, and she was able to quit because we had the money set aside because not only do we have a thousand dollars set aside, we have quite a bit more than that. So we can comfortably go ahead and let her quit and not suffer 